This is Sports is Africa Express. I'm Ehi Alonghi, and I'm going to leave a couple of African sports stories right here. Now, there is no diggity, no doubt the Kenya Premier League competition is set to resume immediately, according to Chief Executive Officer Jack Okuda, after the High Court in Kenya lifted an injunction stopping matches, which had been obtained by Football Kenya Federation on February the 20th. Both sides were also advised by the judge to settle outstanding issues out of court. Now, don't call it a comeback, as 24th-ranked Nigeria beat 85th-ranked Burkina Faso 87-64 in Ouagadougou in the Afro Basket qualifiers, as they continue to find improvements to their squad, which has struggled since the Olympics. The Burkinabes, on the other hand, were pleased with their performance against Africa's third-best team and left fans and management seeing positive signs for the future as they look to grow the game in their country. In the African Volleyball Club Championships, Egyptian side Al Ahli wrestled the title from the defending champions Esperance of Tunisia with a convincing 3-1 win over their hosts. The win means Al Ahli also qualified the world, for the World Club Championships to be held in Brazil in October. And finally, the result of the weekend in the CAF Confederation Cup. Tanzania's Young African Sports Club trounced FC Platinum from Zimbabwe 5-1 in their first round first leg tie at the Independence Stadium in Tanzania. The result marked Platinum's worst defeat under the reign of coach Norman Mapeza. Well, that's a little taste of your Sports News Africa Express for today. For more stories like these, follow us on Twitter or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Goodbye for now.